Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and since 2003, we've actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So if you'd like to support us to create more content frequently, do like and subscribe today, okay? So in today's video, we'll be looking at how you can actually delay or avoid some transactions inside AutoCount. Before we begin, we strongly do not recommend you to delay any transactions and use step 1 or 2 if you are very sure that this transaction should not be in the system. Also, always make a backup in an event you would like to return to the point before you delete any transactions inside the system. Okay? So the first way of deleting a transaction is you can come here to AR invoice. So let's say it is transaction. Okay? And you just press delete. Okay. Yes. So one thing that you have to note that if the transaction has other entries or other like example an invoice is linked to a payment you cannot just delete it like that. So you can come here again to say invoice. Where's the invoice? Say example this one. Then we press delete. Yes. And then the transaction has been successful to delete. Let's say for example, you like to delete a bunch of transactions because these invoices would be wrongly created. Okay. So just press fine. So let's say example, we want to search now. Or we can even do things like advanced search. Okay, we can set. We want to set from uh, invoice change range. Set from first of June until today. Set fourth of June. Okay, we press search. So there's four invoices, and we want to delete all of them. We just press check call, and we press delete. Okay, and. Automatically, all four transactions are deleted. Alright, the third step for us or the final step is to actually void the transaction. This will be our recommended method as it will remove the double entry of the transaction while keeping the running number sequence in the system. Okay, and if you need to revert back, all you just need to do is unvoid it. So let's say example, we want to void this transaction or we just do a double click in it. Here we got a void transaction and we press yes. Straight away, you can see there's a void entry, and if you go back to your listing, you can see that this transaction has been cancelled. And if you want to uncancel it, we can just double click again, void it, yes, and then that entry will be back in your system without the cancel function. So, this is actually how you can actually remove transactions inside AutoCom. We hope you find this helpful and you will like any guides you like us to create. Uh, do leave in the comment below, okay?